What I'm starting to figure out is every guy that I attract all look like criminals. Is that your type, would you say? I, th I'm, I think so. <laughs> like, they all look like criminals. So what is it about these criminals that be, that's so attractive? I don't know. It's something about a that look like he on his way to jail that just gets me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, if I'm able to just hit you, you're rich. So you want a to hem you up? That's what you're saying? That's why you're picking these jail no. n***as to hem, you up, hem your ass up? No, but I don't want to be able to make you feel like less of a man if i'm able to make you feel like less of a man you're not the one oh man so y'all know the situation that happened when umar was on this very this very platform and speaking about these type of women and them dating the quote-unquote pookies and ray rays that's what umar was calling them the quote-unquote pookies and ray rays because of men not making options available for them but this is the issue the options are available. I, 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 <laughs> Omar, bro. Some people are just too far gone. They too far gone for whatever reason. They're stuck in this, to this mentality. The men are out here. They're available. So it's not. You can't say it's just a Pookie Ray Ray's available. It's always gonna be trash. No matter what demographic, it's gonna be some trash people that exist within it. And I don't know if it's a situation where where um more of these voices of these women are amplified but definitely for sure in my neighborhood growing up this this type of mentality ran rampant you feel me ran rampant and i i, I went deep into like you know me thinking that it's like this, it's a systematic thing as far as a woman being attracted to the rebellious personality that that's all i was possibly thinking about but some people realistically are just lost causes and all we can do is focus on the kids moving forward and trying to mold them into the proper way of thinking to avoid trying to you know with exist within this toxicity or these horrible characters caricatures like it, we got to do our best for the children but the thing about it is like you know sometimes due to these ladies bad decisions and choosing those men available when they have the opposite perspective the opposite characters that's available too. They choose some of these men that aren't the best available. And I ain't talking about no hood dudes. I'm talking about criminals. Like That's not a good idea to go ahead and date a criminal. It's not. Because you may end up as a single mother because he may be going away in jail because he's a fucking criminal. And then you have these women that have control and authority over their children. And a great deal of them raise the children in the idea of their perfect man. Now, what we do as men, I've seen it my whole life. That's why, you know, a lot of times some of these discussions don't make sense to me. They don't make sense to me because when you go outside and you actually touch grass, you see the opposite of what's happening. I think a lot of our circumstances are just overwhelming in the sense of it's just like it's going to take time to really see a lot of progress. But we can't know the progress that we've been making. But I just said like this, some of this shit don't make sense when I go outside in real life and even reflect to my life. I come from I come from, quote unquote, a hood and there's some worse hoods than mine. And in those worse hoods than mine, I've seen the same thing that happened in my hood with older men from the neighborhood, the community coming in and being mentors and taking care of doing as far as like football games for the kids and doing whatever they could to help the kids stay out of the streets. I had coaches that would come and pick kids up and take them to practice. Sometimes from a county away, from Dade County to Broward County, coaches that would come and do that shit. So I've seen many men step up and do that in the neighborhood. But I just think that it's just, we still have overwhelming things that's up against us that are systematic that sometimes can be tough to overcome also i would say this that yeah we shouldn't just focus on sports that should not be our sole focus we should not just be focusing on entertainment that that may be our issues as men as far as where we go back and try to help the young kids and the young young boys and mold them we push them in certain areas at certain points when we don't see any potential anymore we just let them do whatever and then we move on to the next little ones you know and focus on them you know but if we are focusing on other things as far as you know some trades or some some academic things as far as it tech shit reaching back at these kids that's on the computers y'all know these kids be on the computers all the time you know laptops that's what they focus on if we try to reach back and push them in the right direction as far as those things and then it's no cutoff age as far as oh they don't have athletic ability or they don't look like they're gonna be a first round draft pick in ninth tenth grade anymore they're not starting on the team no they actually could still see that shit all the way through so we can continue to mentor them you're not thinking oh they're just gonna be another kid because they're not super athletic if you know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about dog so i think if we as we 
know better, we'll do better as far as lending resources, you know, more realistic resources to our youth to help them out. But the will to want to help them out, I don't think that's ever been an issue when it comes to having these discussions. The will to want to help the youth, the younger kids out, has never been an issue. The resources that we give, that we use, that we gather to hand over, that's been an issue. But once again, you know better, you do better. Of course, if you see people that, that pull their family out of the hood, you see them playing sports or entertaining or doing entertainment shit, you're thinking, oh, that's the way. Let me go ahead and dive into that. So that's what people focus on. But as we grow older and get more information and we understand the different ways to go ahead and be competent adults in this world, then we need to be able to share the information and give it to our youth in a digestible form and help them out that way. But um, I hope y'all understood why I'm coming on that situation right there. But let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below. I'm going to get about it here. Those your boy Stacey and I felt you. Reason why, because you, you fucks with me. Yay. I'm out. Uh...